right, it's super early in the morning and I had to update my Android. I was like, oh no, I hope nothing goes wrong <laughs> like when I fly the drone later on from where I'm going. So it's gonna require a little bit of a trip to get to where I'm going. Can't just walk there, I'm gonna have to take the ferry so you guys get to see it with me. All right, time to buy some tickets for the ferry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what is this? Okay. Why does it say tuna? I don't know, that's what it's... <laughs> We're going to see tuna? Okay. Here it is. It's like going to an airport. The drone shots we will get. I take a time lapse, but there's nowhere to put the camera here, unless I want to leave it here. That'd be interesting if I flew the drone from here to the island just to see the ferry. I don't know anywhere in the world that would allow you to do that. Apparently this is supposed to be one of the uh, worst marked trails there is, so there's going to be a manual map here. <laughs> so hopefully it goes okay. And I was testing yesterday with the Mavic, what I wanted to test was whether I could get away with um, darker filters filming up on the sky, but then I noticed when you go to like the water or like the trees, it gets really muddy looking, so I guess I can't risk it for the darker um, stuff when I'm trying to shoot the water. <laughs> Down we go. All the signs for you to essentially hitchhike. That's funny. I think I remember Tim flying your drone around here in Bone Island. I believe it was right here on this uh, lake. But I'm actually going to try going all the way to the Mount Gardner. So we're going to go all the way up. Yes, and I agree, Rick. It's unfair that you can't just fly in most places anymore. You guys shouldn't have to come all the way to places like this just to fly it for fun. But here I am, so hopefully we can get some uh, good scenery and all that. Chickens! That's awesome. <laughs> hey, that's cheating. People can drive here. Well, just to the start point at least. Alright, I think this is the quote gate they said, so here we go. I remember this. Uh, according to this, it's... It goes straight and then it loops. Why are there so many paths here? I can see how people get lost so easily. <laughs> got a little bit of it. Yeah, here we go. Let's see. Skid trail, hikers road. 
Pony Lake, here we go. All right, more uphill. Holy smokes. That's a lot steeper than it looks. It's just... Oh. Mount Gardner South Trail. Okay. And disappointed you didn't see a bear yesterday, huh? When I hiked, I don't think you guys want me to see a bear if I'm going on my hiking trips. I've actually never encountered one live. I might be able to show you one um, in another place, but that's in a, um, a controlled environment. Okay, let's hopefully we don't get lost here. Here comes the forest. We're technically in the forest already, but yeah, this is like a really unmarked path for the most part. Yeah, this does not look like a regular trail. Okay, the GPS says here, and I see markers here. Oh, great. I almost wish I had unlimited memory with this. I can just do like a time lapse as I walk here for other people who dare to try this. And this is really steep. Holy, it almost feels like we're right on the edge of a cliff here. All right, ready? I don't think we can get this part last year. Is it? Okay. Yep, we're really, really high up here. The seeds. Attack. <laughs> <Jump>. <laughs> <laughs> they almost got that there. Where'd he go? Whoops. Ooh, looks like the end here is close. Okay, another one of these. Ooh, the things I go through to fly a drone, huh? Alright. Whoops! Oh, oh, oh. oh, saved! There you go. Nope, saved it. Thank you. Yeah. Let me try to get up there. Oh, thanks so yeah. much. Here we are. Oh man, I don't know what happened. I thought today would be a good chance to test out that ND32 because I never tested it, but take a look. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's cracked. I've left it in the case ever since. Like, how did that happen? Oh. Well, it wasn't all lost because I still had the regular N30, uh, ND32 from the um, other one, like my old Polar Pro. So it wasn't the uh, Cinema Series one, so I think it still is good, but oh man, what a bummer. I never even got to test it. I don't even know how it broke. It was in the case all this time. I think I got those in the shot because there was something flying like back and forth like left and right when I was uh, flying. Yeah. Okay, I guess down we go. Funny enough, remember the comment yesterday about whether or not people think it's weird if I'm talking to like, you know, the camera? It was the first thing that happened today was the same thing like I said. That's not usually the comment. It's the comment is that I'm wearing jeans when I like it. And that was actually the first comment when a bystander passed by. Man, this is definitely a hike. <laughs> Oh, that tree's done for.
All right, so there's a view here. What, this is a view? Am I missing something? <laughs> Oh, times like this, I'm so glad I have the drone. Oh, that's why I wanted the drone, to get the perspectives you can't normally get. <laughs> distract you from cars. That's so it looks like I can fly above there. All right, back in Vancouver, no more island. So much for drones anymore, huh? They're gonna dump us all on a little island to fly the drones. Anyways, see you guys later.